Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in the midst of the storms that we are experiencing, the Lord Jesus asked us to put our trust in Him, the sower of good seeds in our life. We ask the intercession of our Lady, our Mother, to help those who are undergoing uh, these experiences right now so that like Mary we could focus on the grace of God in our lives to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for his pardon and strength Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord, and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar with twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the children of Israel to offer burnt offerings and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls. The other half, he splashed on the altar. Taking the Book of the Covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, All that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you, in accordance with all these words of His. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice, and fulfill your vows to the Most High. Then, Call upon me in time of distress, I will rescue you, and you shall glorify me. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Please all stand. With you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field while everyone was asleep. His enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, 
do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then, at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, First, collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Jesus tells us today of the parable of the weeds among the wheat. And in this parable, the sower or the master was questioned by his servants. And the question is, Master, why are there weeds among the wheat that you have sowed? Bakit kaya mayroong masasamang damo sa gitna ng ating mga itinanim? Pero ang itinanim mo naman ay kabutihan. Mabuting halaman ang iyong itinanim. I remember last week I gave a recollection about the 500 years of Christianity. And I was giving a, a, a talk about the gift of faith that we Filipinos have received 500 years ago. I was giving very good examples of the faith, good examples of how we are to live the faith, of how Filipinos have received the faith. But after my talk, I was uh, a bit surprised by one question among those the, the listeners. And the question is, Father, you have talked about the gift of the 500 years. Sabi niya, bakit kaya after 500 years, parang mas maraming masama no, kaysa sa mabuti? Bakit sa panahon natin ngayon, bakit parang dumadami ang masama? Why, after 500 years, are we seeing a lot of weeds in us? And I think this question is also the question posed to Jesus today. Why are there weeds since we have only planted wheat? And Jesus, in his answer to his disciples, is telling the servants not to get distracted by the weeds. Because these are the work of the enemy trying to distract us from our harvest. Parang gustong sabihin ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad, bakit ba kayo nakafocus doon sa mga damo? Focus on the wheat. And instead of focusing on the weeds, also put your focus on the sower who is Jesus himself. And Jesus assures his disciples in the parable, let them grow together. Parang nakakatakot yata yun, ano? Kapag sinabi ng master na, wag niyong tanggalin yung damo. Hayaan yung tumubo sila ng magkasama, magkasabay. But in the end, the sower said, We will remove the weeds upon harvest. 
And this is like an assurance to them not to get distracted by the weeds, but instead focus on the sower because the sower will not allow the wheat to be removed, to be destroyed. But instead, he will take care of the wheat so that in the end, the weeds will be separated from them. My dear brothers and sisters, parang tama nga minsan na magtatanong tayo, bakit kaya minsan kabutihan naman ang itinanim, mayroong pananampalataya, tinanggap natin ang pananampalataya, pero ang daming mga hindi magandang pangyayari. The sower asks us today not to focus on the weeds. The enemy would like you to be distracted by the weeds. But instead of focusing on the weeds, focus on the sower. Believe that Jesus is the sower. He is the owner of the field. And He will not let the weeds overtake. Instead, He will take care of the wheat of the good wheat so that in the end you will bear fruit and he will harvest you and the enemy the weeds of the enemy will be removed this is also the assurance in our first reading today from the book of exodus remember that the people were traveling through the desert for years and many of the people of Israel are already getting distracted of hunger, of thirst. They were wishing to go back to Egypt. Ilang taon na sila sa disyerto at naiinip na sila. Walang makain maayos, walang mainom na maayos, mainit, walang permanenteng tirahan, napapagod na sa paglalakad. Sabi nila, sana bumalik na lang tayo sa Egypto. Doon mas maayos ang buhay. They were already getting distracted by many things in the desert. But God gave them the word, the commandments. And Moses covered them with the blood of the Lamb. Focus on the Word. Focus on the covenant. Remember that even in the desert, even if you are in the desert right now, you are getting distracted by many problems, many weeds. Focus on God's Word. His Word will protect you. Focus on the blood poured out for you, the blood of Jesus will protect you. My dear brothers and sisters, the Word of God teaches us today that in our world, there will be weeds among the wheat. And the weeds are the work of the enemy. Let us not allow the weeds the enemy to distract us. Focus on being a wheat of God. You are God's seed. God has planted you and the sower is in charge of you. He will take care of you until you grow and bear good fruit. In this Mass, let us put our trust in the sower. He is in charge. Even if there may be weeds planted by the enemy, we are God's plant. We are God's wheat. And He will take care of us. Amen.
Please all stand. As a frail and weak people, we bring our petitions before our Heavenly Father, who in His mercy and love wants us to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. For every petition, let us say, Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That church leaders may always work for the good of souls, especially of the poor and the less privileged. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That those entrusted with the delivery of justice may be fair in their judgments. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That as a community, we may recognize the goodness in each other instead of condemning one another for each other's shortcomings. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That the sick and those who suffer may be consoled by the truth of God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. That those who have died may enjoy the harvest of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, sustain us in your goodness. Let us include in our prayer intentions today all those who are uh, greatly affected by the storm and the, uh, the flooding these past days, those who are now evacuated from their homes. May our Lord Jesus be your strength, your shelter in this time of need. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful, Merciful God, God, sustain us in your goodness. Heavenly Father, may the power of your love always sustain us. Help us not to get distracted by the cares of the world and not to be overcome by evil in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just 
our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace, and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank all of you who have joined us in this celebration and all those who are joining us online, wherever you are now, in your homes, or you are driving, going somewhere, or maybe you are in the, the evacuation centers and celebrating Mass with us, be assured that we are continued, uh, continuously praying for you, and we pray that the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and the power of His Word cover you, your homes, and your families at this moment. We know that Jesus is the sower. Jesus is the master. And he will take care of us in times of need. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.